Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be recording a little get ready with me. Um, I have a few errands to run. I'm actually going to the doctor's office. Um, I'll actually have to remove my IUD. And also it's my dad's birthday, so I'll go to a garden center and get him a plant he has been wanting. And I also hope to film something. So I thought I would get ready with you on camera. Uh, my lighting isn't the best just because I have natural light. Hope it doesn't bother you. I'll be mentioning everything I use And I have a big cup of water. It's a Starbucks cup. I love it So I'll be starting with um, the ordinary uh, hyaluronic acid. I love this product. I actually just mentioned it on a past um, video I usually just put it in the back of my hand then my, the tip to my fingers make sure you wash your hands before you apply this or any makeup you don't want to risk any bacteria going into your skin so like my main concern is to get it under my eyes because that's where I can see could see a few lines I swear a couple months back I could see like two lines under my eyes and now only one I really believe in the power of the hyaluronic acid and also sunscreen which is the next product I use Antelius from La Roche-Posay I'm using a 70 SPF just because I'm dealing with some acne which is why I'm getting the I don't know if you can see this is why I'm getting the IUD out um, it really ruined my skin like I never had acne before well I did a little like when I was a teenager but the acid I'm using right now would just be enough like to keep it perfect and right now because the IUD because of the IUD it's actually a hormonal acne which is the worst because it comes like from underneath your skin so you can't even pop it or do anything and it's scarred so Ah, uh, really not happy with it. Uh, other than that, I didn't have um, many issues with the IUD. Like, it worked just as well as my previous pill. Uh, and I thought uh, my, my doctor said it would be a good option since I have migraines. But to be honest, oh, because I have ours with my migraines. But to be honest, I only have migraines uh, when I'm dealing with a lot of stress. Um, so, and it didn't change the frequency, it's just you have a lower risk for some stuff, but it really isn't worth it when I'm getting like these many blemishes and dealing with scarring. Like, as it is, I'll have to get microneedling or something done to get them off, so I'm really not happy with it. I'll be using NARS Sheer Glow. I actually have too light of a shade for me. I use Mont Blanc. Um, I actually should be Gobi, which is the next color up and more yellowy. So I'll be mixing it with um, LA Girl Pro Coverage. Um, this isn't fair, which it's not very fair. It's my perfect color, but it's not the fairest. <laughs> I don't know how like super white people would do with it so I'll just put like a little sheer glow here maybe a little more yeah and I'll try and get something out of this LA girl but it's nearly done so it just might take a while oh yeah Actually got some. Oh, I just remembered. I actually want to use um, a primer, so I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil Primer. Um, my sister actually gifted this to me. It's really good. I don't know if I would buy it because it's just so expensive, but I'm glad I have it. And if you notice I'm looking like here, it's because it's where I have my mirror.
Yeah, I should have waited a little bit longer for the um, uh, for my skin to absorb the antelias. Yeah, because the texture wasn't right. But so I mixed both of them in, and now like it really looks like a good match for me. Because my skin is my face is like kind of pinky, but my body is like more golden. So yeah, I actually have a hard time um, getting a good color for foundation because most of the brands do like the really light shades uh, oh, I actually meant to use a, a brush let's see yeah here my Sigma F80 uh, so yeah I usually have a hard time um, finding the right shade for foundations but I guess everyone kind of has that especially black people is so unfair how like main brand brands only do like sort of light shades and um more like tan like i don't know if you have been to europe but for me it's the worst like to try and buy foundation there because they usually only have like more tan colors unless it's scandinavia which then it's a different a different place but yeah so yeah I'm definitely bringing it down my neck not because of the collar but because of my acne so yeah that's my problem area my chin and neck which I guess is better than having like in the center of your face but I don't know acne acne is always something hard to deal like self-esteem wise you know mm, to be fair I took a little too much foundation but now I'm just gonna use it because it's already here uh, let's see I actually feel like sometimes this blends a bit better using your fingers in some areas because you have like the warmth and you can like really see what's going on so yeah I feel like I'm a bit washed out on camera because on, on the mirror I look more golden and like this light really makes me look white but I'll put some pictures after I'm done oh, I still have quite a lot of foundation good thing my neck I can use it yeah it's quite bad but hopefully I'll get it out today and from what I've heard like in a month um, your skin starts to get better so I'm praying for the best probably should have organized what I'm using beforehand just put a few things here this is basically like my everyday uh, makeup routine if I'm doing makeup oh I'm using the NARS creamy concealer radiant creamy concealer uh, in the shade light 2 vanilla it's more of a neutral, a bit warm of a concealer shade, but it works well. And it's funny because I had already tried this in the past and I didn't really like it, but now I'm loving it. Like my sister um, gave it to me, and I tried it again, and it, not only it's like a good color, but I like the consistency. Like it's so easy to blend and I like a lot of coverage under the eyes because basically my under eye area is transparent like it looks a bit purple so I like putting quite a bit of concealer there like especially here yeah and and here um, I'll do the face in a little bit so other than this one I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape 
but I definitely got the wrong shade because I have fear in this and like look how light this is I have to do a lot of blending for this one to work so I usually put like a little extra concealer there and I'll pack like a lot of powder into this Revlon brush I like the shape of it like to pack powder under my eyes and for powder I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte it's quite dirty, quite embarrassing um, I actually want to try the Laura Mercier translucent one but it's so expensive and this one like it's really good I also like the Milani powder I think the colors and those work well for me too uh, I actually don't have a MAC shade which is fine because nowadays no one <laughs> wears MAC but I remember when I started getting into makeup I went to a MAC store and asked the lady to match me and she just really couldn't uh, because their warm shades are really peachy and their cold shades are yellow but I don't know it just they don't have a good color for me because the closest is the um, C20 I think yeah cold 20 uh, from the drugstore I really like Revlon color stay the um, oily skin version and I use sand beige that's that's a really good like shade for when I got some color on my skin using this to cover up any remaining blemishes I mean I, I don't care too much about the neck after I have um, foundation there so let's do my nose uh, yeah this will do I should have probably got it wet but I'll be using a beauty blender so yeah like it doubled the size and now I'll use it to blend in my concealer just on the face because on the face I want it more natural but I want it to look like I have no dark circles you know like no other eye issues I actually wanted to do some light treatment at first I thought I, um, what you did for that was hyaluronic acid which is great for people who have really like deep hollow under eye area but my issue is different I just have this coloration as you can see like it's not very deep it is a little but it's not the main issue the main issue is that it's super dark or rather that the skin here is transparent it comes with light skin so there's not much you can do so I'll be using this e.l.f. Mm, flat top kabuki I actually have many brushes but this is my favorite for powder so just pack a lot and oh maybe I forgot so yeah I like it because it's flat and it picks a lot of color and it's so cheap I think I paid like three dollars for it so so cheap yeah i like a lot i'm not gonna bother with um eye primer because i'm not really going into work or being out of the house for many hours so, so next we're gonna be doing brows for that i'm gonna use this mirror from the naked heat mm, i might even i don't know if i want to do the shadow of this but I want to do my eyebrows first so I'm using this gimme brow from benefit I think the name rubbed off it's really good but I'm nearly out because <laughs> it was a mini and so I, I I'll start with this and then I'll use uh, another thing to fill it in but I like this because it's very natural and also doesn't leave my eyebrows too defined since they're not really thick um, and I don't have that much hair I like a more natural look otherwise it just looks like I have drawn them in 
Sometimes I fill them in with a powder, usually Omega by MAC. I swear I've had it like for so many years and it's still like... Like I've hit pen, but yeah, I still have quite a bit of time with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, I still have some filling in too. So I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Taupe. Taupe is a great color if you're. Um, I think on camera it doesn't show, but I have like um, an ashy brown here. And I used to have highlights, but they're nearly gone now. I really want to get them done again, but I don't feel comfortable going into uh, the salon with the whole pandemic. That's that's how one of my sister's friends got it, so because she works at a salon, even though she wore a mask and everything. So I don't feel like I should be going out right now just where I live for things that are not essential. Like, today I'll go to the doctor's office because... I need this IUD removed, but I don't really need to color my hair, you know? Yeah, but maybe the situation will improve soon. How is it where you live? Is it really bad like here? Or are you like starting to go out and whatnot? So yeah, I don't have too much of a technique. I basically put it where I'm missing hairs. I feel like too strong of a brow does not fit my face. So I just do the minimum. So nice. Mm, yeah, I think we're getting there. The main thing is like underneath here, I have a little bit missing. And at the beginning. Okay, this looks about right. I think I'm doing a copper eye. I think it really suits green eyes. Don't know if you can actually see like my color up, my eye color here. It doesn't look really green here. I have like a very subtle um, grayish green eye. To blend, I'm also using another Revlon brush. They're good because they're good quality but very inexpensive. And I'm gonna be using for the crease the the Naked Heat Mini um, these two colors, which are Vibrate and Hot Spell. They don't look very warm in the pan, but they're actually really warm on my skin. So I'm gonna start with the Vibrate one. And as you can see, I have hooded eyes, so what I find works better is instead of going into my crease, I go into my crease and above it, just so it looks more awake. Yeah. So here you can see. Even if I have my eyes open, you can see color here. Even though I have very, very minimal lid space. Because if I just do like makeup on my lid and crease, my eyes look so small. So usually go above. So I started with the Vibrate color, which is the second here. A bit higher. Mm, 
yeah if you look up close it looks very orangey and a lot but from far away and with my eyes open and then lashes it's not going to look dramatic at all to me so now i'm going to use the third color this one it looks just a brownish but on my skin it picks up like a, a really ready shade so i'll just use it like on the outer v and blend it I feel like it's about right now I'll go in with my color which is L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush I really like this shadow I've had it for many years and it's like a copper rose gold color I think this suits like any eye color so I'll just add it like where I should be highlighting like my actual lead space and then I'll blend it again okay. oh yeah and I'm using this little bare minerals concealer brush it's really good to pack on the color i don't really like the powder concealer from bare minerals but i really really like their foundation i think the the shade fair light it really suits me and it's great for natural makeup like when your skin is doing good you can just do concealer and then that and it looks so natural so nice so yeah okay now we're gonna blend it again with the second with the third color the hot spell And I'll actually blend it with my bronzer too just to make it a little darker and more neutral I'm using the Hula bronzer as you can see I'm a fan of minis just because it takes so long to go through makeup and I like experimenting so if I get like a mini of this I get to try it you know before that I was using the Too Faced chocolate Soleil, Soleil? the chocolate bronzer uh, I actually like it much better than Hula, but it's what I'm using at the moment, so there's that. So now we just need a little highlighter. This is broken, but I re- and kind of dirty, but I really, really like it. It's the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls. It's really, really nice for light-skinned people. So I'll just use the same brush. And put it where I would need highlight it in my inner corner. And I'm gonna blend it out with my powder brush. Well, I mean the brush i was using for powder under my eyes mm, so now i think i could add a little shadow as a, an eyeliner i actually just ran out of eyeliner so it's been kind of hard to use it because it's drying out and the eyeshadow as a, an eyeliner will be very nice and soft looking there we go it's just like an 
eyeliner or brow brush and I'll be using I think the highest color here this one you should really tap it before using so it doesn't fall on your under eye and yeah it's not supposed to be like super dark just to give it some definition And you could even wet your brush a little so we would pack in more color. That's what I did here. I hope you can't really hear too much of the construction noises yeah it's really bad my neighbors are doing something and with everyone being inside working from home it's kind of really bad do you get easily annoyed by noise because I'm super sensitive to it like I get easily annoyed actually never used this color as eyeliner I don't know if I love it but we'll see okay now I think I should blend it out a little so I'll just use the same brush I was using for the highlighter color and every other thing because I don't want it to be too thick or I think it looks all right. So now I'll just um, curl my lashes uh, and use mascara. For mascara, I have been using the L'Oreal well, Paradise Aesthetic. It's really good. It's very similar as you can probably guess to Too Faced um, what is it called? I can't remember Better Than Sex? yeah, Better Than Sex mascara um, but it's much cheaper they're very similar to, to in my opinion do you guys have any tips? like any a uh, mascara recommendation or other product so I usually just curl my lashes like this it also helps to blend a little the eyeliner because you're touching it with the back it's very wet so I'll just be careful with it And as you can see, I have gotten my upper lid um, stained, but if you just wait and use a Q-tip to rub it off, it will be fine. Yeah, it's a bit clumpy, but I like it. I just try and be careful doing the under eye because I don't want too much definition down there just realized I forgot um, bronzer so we shall do that now mm. yeah I'm using this um, Bare Minerals full 
flawless face it's really small but like that's what i usually take on trips and i just got used to it i feel like you can really get in to blend out the bronzer so i'll be using the hula by benefit bronzer it's really dirty so please excuse that so i usually just look to the side and suck it a little to see where i should put it because i have a full face so like i don't have very deep cheekbones So yeah, and then I'll blend it upwards. And I like to contour like at least here. And if I didn't have all this scarring, I would also go very deep there. But because I just concealed that, I don't want to put too much shadow there because it's gonna counter counteract what I did. So I'm concentrating on my cheekbones and here. That's because I have more of a diamond face. If you had like a longer forehead that you wanted to conceal, you could like do a lot on top, but I just wanted like to look more oval because like this part is very wide. Yeah, it's not very precise. You probably should get like something better for contour, like the Kat Von D contour kit or something like that. And then I'll go in with my powder brush to further blend it because it will still have the pigment from my base. And that will be very helpful. So my nose. Not very good at this. But I usually also look to the side and try and follow the natural line. So here. Yeah, I feel like it looks better. It doesn't look amazing, but... And then I'll blend out like from here to here. I feel like I need to go a bit more into it. But I feel like the texture on my nose never gets perfect. Do you have any tips for that? Is there anything I'm doing wrong? And don't forget to contour down here, otherwise it's going to look like you have a really weird nose. So I'm just going to... nearly took the wrong brush. I'm just going to blend it. And you can go in with more powder. To blend it out. Yeah, I think it looks better than before. So now let's go into blush. I'll be using Melba by MAC. I really like it because it's very soft and good for fair skin. So I'll just smile and place it like around here. The same highlighter as before. I usually just go in with my finger. Mm, so yeah. I think my brows could use some help still. Yeah. 
so this one is like more arch than this one but actually before this one i guess it's always like that like your face is not perfectly symmetrical and if yours are i'm really jealous so I'll just blend it out because sometimes you don't even need the q-tip like if you just blend it out with your eyeshadow brush will be enough to take out the um, part where you messed up the mascara and if it isn't i'll just go there go into my bathroom and grab a q-tip i just ran out of the ones i had here in my makeup yeah i think this will do for me maybe i should put some lipstick just put a lip balm this is the EO, this is the us um lip balm with spf 30 or 20 it's with aloe vera i love eos lip balms um this was actually a youtuber's recommendation it's the annabelle cosmetics and the mirror yeah the lip liner in demure or modest in english i guess uh it's a canadian brand but i'm pretty sure you can find it online so i'm just gonna outline and blend my lips i don't have um a lot of lip products just because i don't really wear them if i'm gonna use something it's usually red lips or max what's it called relentlessly red it's not a red in my opinion it's more pink but i love it as you can see my lips are a bit chapped right now so i my lipstick wouldn't be good either anyways and i don't um overline too much because i feel like you lose a bit of a shape if you do that and just get too big yeah this is it I'm just gonna take these bobby pins I'm also trying to wear a middle part which I don't usually because um, people always say like it looks it makes you look much better I'm not too sure but I'm trying so what do you guys think So yeah, this is the makeup look. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Or any comment or like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.